Hello and welcome to the Shortings.tv Pilot Roundtable, a Southgate Media Group podcast. I'm Kyle Tremblay. And I'm Olivia Richards. And we're from Shortings.tv, where you can rate and review all your favorite TV shows, including the new series we're talking about today... Scorpion. According to CBS's website, Scorpion, inspired by a true story, is a high-octane drama about eccentric genius Walter O'Brien and his team of brilliant misfits who comprise the last line of defense against complex, high-tech threats of the modern age. Olivia, what did you think of Scorpion? I kind of, I, I liked the direction they're taking. I feel like they're they're taking things that we've seen before, like these procedural cop dramas and, and the whole, I think we are now seeing kind of a trend ever since the Big Bang Theory where people have been really, really huh. obsessed with like geniuses and they, yep. they want to follow that sort of trend. But it's like they kind of took that and put like a new spin on it. Obviously, it's based off of a true story. So, uh, well, I think loosely based. It's probably loosely, <laughs> really loosely based. I don't know. And I could be wrong. I don't know if the true story involved a Ferrari speeding down an airplane runway at 200 miles per hour while a plane flies within five feet of it so that they can download a file to the Ferrari. <laughs> Um, obviously. <laughs> obviously. That, I mean, wow. <laughs> Verbatim, that's exactly what happened. That is what happened in this pilot. <laughs> um, you brought up the Big Bang Theory, which makes me so happy, because that is what I wanted to talk about first. This show is the Big Bang Theory if they were solving crimes, right? Yes. Like, that. this is it. This is, this is right down to the, I believe her name is... Kaylee Cuoco? Kaylee Cuoco? Yeah, the waitress. The yeah! I, and, and so this brings me to my most important question. Olivia, have you caught the McFever? <laughs> God. <laughs> the pun. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> that's really all I wanted to talk about Scorpion for, so that I could ask you about your McFever. <laughs> oh my God, that just happened. So. I mean, Catherine McPhee is a star of this show. Like... For real. <laughs> That's not a joke. She is she is the the I guess playing the hot girl role in the team of misfits. Um just don't even give her a name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what her name is. Oh, it's like Paige. Yeah, because it's her name tag the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> uh well, I mean what did you think of her? Um her performance? Because obviously that's a that's a inspired question mark bit of casting. <laughs> It was interesting because I didn't know when when I had read that she was on the on the the cast list. I was like, oh my god, please tell me that she's not a detective. Like, please, for the love of God, tell me that she is not playing any oh, kind of a detective because that, that is not rich. going to work. That would be rich. <laughs> that would be oh my god. But then she stepped in as the waitress, and it was interesting that she they gave her the also like highly gifted son, yeah. or or the child that she's working with, because right. yeah. I, I wasn't expecting that. That was sort of a twist that I, I wasn't expecting to happen. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this, this could sound like an in insult to either Catherine McPhee or waitresses, but she is very believable as a waitress. Um, she In a way that she wouldn't have been in any other role in the show. <laughs> and I think, I think the show was smart to use her that way. And I think in general... This show is really well put together. Like this is a this is a show that like I feel like they did all the focus group data. They figured out exactly what people want, which is nerds solving crimes, and they said, "Okay, we're gonna make exactly that show." And needless to say, it's a massive hit for CBS. So it this is this is one of the most CBS pilots I can possibly imagine. Yes. Uh, and you get three nerds for the price of one, so it's good. <laughs> true, true. Oh, speaking of the nerds, um, let's go through them. Uh, we had uh, the lead, um, whose name uh, is – the actor's name is Elias Gable. Play Alex Gable, yeah. Yeah, playing Walter O'Brien. Uh, what did you think of him as the center of the show? I thought he was really interesting because, like, when you first see him – He's breaking up with his girlfriend in the middle of work, so yeah. that's good. So classic kind of, Big Bang Theory, by the way, just classic. <laughs> that could have been a scene in Big Bang Theory. Exactly. He's he's a very like Sheldon s character, mm -hmm. but I think the thing that they try to show is that like he is trying because like you see him interact with Catherine McPhee, and like he's the first one to notice that her son isn't just 
like like people have been making fun of him and you think that maybe he has like a learning disability or something like that but then you see him playing chess yes. with like the salt shakers and things so you see that he's like trying he's aware of of the way his own mind works and you know he he does have some pitfalls with that but it's not that he's just like clueless about what's going on right yeah they they, they did a good job tying that son thing together and tying it to Catherine McPhee like again this this was like an expertly made very very carefully deployed pilot despite the ludicrous action sequences which we'll talk about <laughs> in a second but like you know you could just tell like this this pilot is made by someone who's had successful shows in the past and it's a pilot that knows exactly what it's doing and exactly what buttons to press and like you said like they they knew exactly how to make it so that character was clearly someone who has issues but not someone who's dislikable the way that like Sonia from the bridge is dislikable oh yeah right like they they they're walking this line um of making lovable geniuses um and that they clearly know how to walk and so i thought that was i mean he as a character that character really reminds me of um david crumholtz in numbers the old CBS procedural, like it's just, yeah. it's like a very similar, very numbers vibe to me. This whole thing um, that uh, that I I got from, from the proceedings, except again with a lot, like a hundred percent more action sequences, a lot, a lot yeah. more car chases, a lot more car. It's numbers with car chases. That's, <laughs> that's our comparison for this show. Um, is there anything you had issues with in this pilot? Honestly, that's the thing is like I I can't really say just based off of the pilot. Like, I do want to see more and I want to see how the characters are going to develop and obviously yes, you do get a blend of like the nerd factor plus a bunch of ridiculous action sequences which I yeah. loved. So Absolutely. Yeah, this was like this was like Fast and the Furious nerd edition. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like this is I mean, I really I I I'm a, I'm a sucker like a complete sucker for action on tv like i love action shows i loved that old fox show human target even though it was really bad just because it had a lot of action sequences and so i mean if, if you're telling me you're gonna like download a file from a plane by hand in a ferrari i am in sign me up and and just take my money cbs because <laughs> i'm in i'm throwing it at them yeah i was instead of instead of throwing the the ethernet cable up i would have just been throwing money at the guy in the plane just take it <laughs> <laughs> it's, you've you've sold me <laughs> um m one of my problems was uh i didn't like the math nerd the the big chubby math nerd i just i felt like he was a little grating um I'm not sold on the psychologist nerd, I guess. <laughs> the, the, uh, who, the one who screwed up. I don't know. The characters were iffy to me, outside of the central guy. Um, but, but at the same time, again, when you have airplane chase sequences, it's pretty easy to overlook the characters. Um, yeah. It's, it's pretty... I mean, it just... I, 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 what I struggle with with Scorpion is that I feel like CBS is tricking me. Like, CBS made a show just for me. And they, it's like soulless and they just tailored it exactly for what I would like. And then I liked it, even though I knew that. So I kind of feel like a sucker. <laughs> but oh. You know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just start watching a TV show and you're like, consciously, I know what I'm watching and I, I know what genre I'm in and I know what the pitfalls could be. But also, I just need to watch this. <laughs> and I don't have a choice. It's like, I know this is not a passion project, right? Like, this isn't like, you know, the story of like Mad Men is, is Matt Weiner had the script for like six years that he was dying to get made and he like worked his way up in the industry to someone finally made it. And he had all, he had like all, everything mapped out. Like, this is a show that was created in a focus group. <laughs> you know, it, it's like, I, I still love it. Oh, I'm so easy. Um, is, is by the way that kind of show that you just described? Um, is that what Gallivant is going to be for you? Um, this this summer or this uh, this winter, I should say. Like you have no idea. Like we <laughs> joke about it, but I can't help myself. Like again, my finger will be like over the remote, like clicking the button before my brain <laughs> syncs up with what's happening. It's like, it's like well, what do we make for Olivia? Oh, fairy tale musical. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm listening here like I'm a smart educated woman yeah. why am I doing this but I can't help it yep they these networks man they they know what they're doing and that was my main takeaway from this show is that CBS knows what it's doing it's the number one network for a reason and I'm gonna watch it because I am a sucker <laughs> so <Yep>. so <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down on Scorpion 
I'm giving it a thumbs up again. Me too. Damn it, CVS. <laughs> All right, thanks, Olivia. How can people get in touch with you? I'm on Twitter at Richards Olivia. All right. Well, that concludes this episode of the ShowEarnings.tv Pilot Roundtable. We invite you to check out this and other Southgate Media Group podcasts at SouthgateMediaGroup.com and to read about, rate, and discuss all your favorite shows at ShowEarnings.tv. You can follow me on Twitter at Kyle Loves TV, Olivia at Richards Olivia, and ShowEarnings at ShowEarnings TV. Until next time, thanks for listening. If you would like to donate to help pay for this and other Southgate Media Group podcasts, simply go to our website, southgatemediagroup.com, and click on the Donate button. It can be as little as a dollar or, well, as much as you want. (laughs) Help keep this fun going by supporting this and our other shows. Thanks again for listening, everyone. You're the best fans in the world.